It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're tuning into your feel good breakfast show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. It's been a great Monday so far, but right now it's time for breakfast in the kitchen with the lovely Zozo. Hello. Oh, my favorite person in the whole wide oh, world. Oh, you're so sweet to me all the time. Oh, you know, it's because you're wearing this lovely color. As Thank well. you. Sweet Thank to you. you. Thank okay, you. enough of that. So, <laughs> we're making breakfast. Yes, roasted, we are. Roasted pears. Yes, and this is an, a recipe by Andrea. Okay. You can see. Um, it's got a bit of sweet and it's got a bit of spicy, so it's great Ooh, for, nice. for the morning. And you don't need to add sugar because if yeah. you use ripe pears, Obviously, they're sweet enough, so you don't have to. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, so now, now, obviously, it's a healthy recipe. It is, okay, of course. Being it one is. of Andrea's recipes. Of course, yes. of course. What is the health properties do you, uh, that you know of of pears? Okay, so for pears, I le we leave the skin on because that's where the fiber comes in, nice. right? So leave the, the skin on. It's good good for texture as well. Okay. Um, pears contain vitamin C, mm -hmm. and they also have a bit of iron in them oh, as perfect. well. Oh, perfect. So it's it's a good one to start with. Brilliant. Okay, okay cool. So what we've done here is just cored the pears and cut them up. So you're going to add the spices for us. We've got a bit of nutmeg, a bit of cinnamon, a bit of allspice. You can use some ginger if you'd like as well so do pinches for me onto there okay and as i said you don't need any sugar because oh. the pears are sweet enough try to find pears that are already ripe and then yes. you don't have to roast them for that long and of course the sweetness yeah, so they is need amplified. to be nice and soft and juicy already exactly and you can How's add that? as much or as little spice as you want so not too much because that's probably nutmeg not too much know. Yeah, that's nutmeg. Nutmeg is hallucinogenic if you use too much. Just, <laughs> oh, wow, really? Just so you know. That's I had no like, idea. That's enough, Ewan. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you get a pinch. So a bit of cinnamon. Oh, so basically, you're just spicing them up um, according to taste. I mean, yes. whatever spices you'd like to use, of course, you can use. But a cinnamon. We've got a bit of allspice, so use that very sparingly. Ooh, nice. It's very strong. Um, if you've got some dried ginger in your spice yes. cupboard, you could also use that. It gives it a bit of a kick. All right. And then this just goes into a 180-degree oven. That's plenty. Thank you. Okay. Um, into a 180-degree oven, just until the pears begin to brown along the edges and they soften. Yes. Okay. okay. Then so they'll I'm gonna come out. I'm going to put this guy in so long. Perfect. Yeah. yeah you do that, and I'm going to stir some of these up. In the meanwhile. Ooh. Nice and hot. So you can see, right. you can serve them either warm or these are room temperature, okay. which is nice because then the flavor is delicious. So it's very quick. I mean, you can actually very, literally, very if you have pears this morning, why not try out this recipe? It could you be can, very easy. Yeah. You could probably do the same, yeah. the same with apples too. Pretty much. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So now Andrea's treat yes. that she loves to do is some skinny hot chocolate. So this is hot chocolate powder. Okay. This is plain yogurt. All right. Okay. So then we we mix the two together. So go ahead. Mm, nice. Will. I'll mix it up. Mix the two together and you form chocolate yogurt. And she Ooh. loves this as a, as a treat for herself. That is fantastic. She has as, as dessert sometimes. That is fancy. I like that. Listen, if you would like to try your hand at this recipe, if you don't have everything at home and you want to go out and buy it, all you need to do is estimate the keyword VITAL to 33728. That's VITAL to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list. Also add a link to the recipe that you can go actually and watch how we made this this morning. There you go. Sure. So just mix that in. There. A, a few lumps is okay because it's nice to get a pop of chocolate oh, every now and then. That's, I was and just then just drizzle say. a little bit onto our pears. Not too much because it doesn't need that much. You want to taste the pears still. Ooh, that. So drizzle a little bit, just a few tablespoonfuls. Make it look artistic. Do Andrea proud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more scared of you. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, and well. then for a bit of crunch, of course, and it is breakfast. So yes. what's breakfast without a bit of vital muesli? We add a bit of oh, crunch on wow. the top and a bit of muesli, and look at that. I think there's nobody that you'd serve this to for breakfast who would complain. That is a breakfast deluxe it this is. morning. SMS that keyword vital to 33728. Just uh, bear in mind that SMSs do cost one rand fifty. Alternatively, log on to our Facebook page, Express Morning Show SABC3. We'll put all the steps for you there as well. But if you want to have one last look at how we made our roasted pear breakfast, here we go. Place sliced pears onto lined tray. Sprinkle pears with cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg. Roast in a 180 degree oven. Mix together yogurt and skinny hot chocolate. Serve pears topped with yogurt and a sprinkling of vital muesli. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword vital to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMSs cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. Easy as that, and you have yourself a beautiful breakfast yes. in no time. Indeed, and I hope we did do Andrea proud because she's feeling so. a bit under the oh, weather today. Andrea. So I came to fill in for her, but Thanks. I hope I did it justice. Good morning, Andrea. If you're morning, watching this get morning. well soon. Yes, get well get soon. Well soon. All right, um, so let me ask you this: like yes. we said, Andrea's a little bit under the weather. Yes. What is the possible the worst thing? that can happen to you during the winter months? Um, 
the tr- snotty <clears throat> nose. The flu. Yeah. The flu, and yeah. you get stuck, and you can't do anything. Yeah. You know what? And two guys are actually undertaking a very interesting quest, and they are giving up the holiday of a lifetime, which you stand the chance to win, by the way. But this is really an epic story. Katleiko and Ilana's got more. Trust Vital for your family's health. 